If you're moving in St. Louis and school districts is a top priority for you, trust me, you're not alone. A lot of people really focus on the schools their kids would go to when they're looking for a home here in St. Louis. So in this video, we're gonna go over the top 10 schools you want to know about if you're moving to St. Louis. Now, I'm sure if you've done your research, you've probably heard of a couple of these, but some of them might be new for you. So you might wanna add those to your radar and think about those with the home search. So let's get into it. Hey there, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Jacob Pystrup. And hey, real quick, if you, your family, your kids are moving to St. Louis or somewhere in the St. Louis area, if you want some help with that process of narrowing in on the right area for you and your family, the right school district, the right neighborhood, send over an email, send us a touch. If you want some help with that process of buying a house or buying a condo these days in this hectic real estate market, Let's get in touch. I mean, pretty much on you know a weekly basis, there's someone who reaches out, text, email, phone call, you know, looking for help with that you know relocation to St. Louis, and that is by far my favorite part of my job, getting to help you know share this city with everyone who's watching on YouTube and helping people find you know the right suburb and the right neighborhood for their family here in St. Louis. So if we can do anything to help you with that process, let's get in touch. I absolutely love hearing from my YouTube viewers all the time. So like I said, 10 of the top schools you want to know about in the St. Louis area, and these rankings are not me trying to steer you. This is coming from niche.com's rankings for 2022 here in the St. Louis area. So starting off with number 10 is gonna be Pattonville. So Pattonville really serves Maryland Heights and some of Bridgeton, so it's really gonna be in that kind of you know, northern part of West County. You might call it North County, you might call it West County. I usually think of Maryland Heights kind of as a mix of both. I feel like Pattonville is one that not everyone thinks about, you know, when they're thinking of the top school districts, but it's still definitely up there and it still is definitely a strong contender you might wanna consider if you're moving, you know, anywhere towards that western part of St. Louis County, maybe towards the north. You know, if you're coming here for work or whatever it is, you know, Maryland Heights and Bridgeton will kind of put you in that area Area. And they're also not ridiculous with home prices. I mean, for some of these school districts on the list I'm talking about, they can be you know pretty pricey to, to break into these areas. But Maryland Heights, Bridgeton, very reasonable with prices, and you get a great school district from living in those areas, which is fantastic. Now, number nine on the list is Metro High. Now, this is the only one that made the list um, for the niche.com rankings that is in St. Louis City. So if you're not familiar with the area, St. Louis City has its own school system. They have their own school district um, with elementary, middle, and high schools that is completely separate from St. Louis County. So number nine is Metro High, and this is gonna be in the Central West End. Beautiful neighborhood. I mean, it is a really, you know, urban area in some places, but it also has a very, you know, charming and historic neighborhood feel in some other parts. So so great part of St. Louis City, the Central West End is beautiful. You got Euclid Ave right there with every, everything going on, you know, shopping, restaurants, bars. You got Forest Park that is right around the corner. I mean, that is a great place just to go for a walk, go for a run, take the kids or the dog for a walk. Forest Park is incredible. It is beautiful. Now, number eight on this list that you want to know about is going to be Rockwood Summit High. Now, Rockwood is its own school district. Rockwood um, Rockwood Schools is a huge district. Like there are four high schools in that district. Three of them made it on this list. Now the Rockwood School District basically serves like the entire western portion of St. Louis County. So it includes Chesterfield, Wildwood, parts of Ellisville, um, Baldwin, Eureka, and parts of Jefferson County. So Rockwood is a huge district. Rockwood Summit is in Fenton. And again, that is number eight on this list. Great high school if your kids end up going to Rockwood Summit. Now, number seven is Marquette. And like I said, there are three schools within Rockwood that are on this list. Marquette is another one. So this is also part of the Rockwood school system. Marquette really includes 
parts of Chesterfield, Baldwin, and all of Clarkson Valley. And Clarkson Valley, people don't always know about it. It's kind of, I think of it as part of Chesterfield and Baldwin. Like it seems, it has a very similar feel to Chesterfield, but it is its own separate municipality. So Marquette, if you live anywhere in that area of Clarkson Valley and some parts of Chesterfield and Baldwin, you're gonna live in the Marquette area. Now, next on this list is gonna be Parkway Central. So Parkway Central, again, kind of serves different areas that you could live in. So Parkway Central has some parts of Westwood, Creevecore and Chesterfield. And Creevecore and Chesterfield are just two of these like bigger areas and they've got like three different high schools within them depending on where you live. There's like over a dozen elementary schools that are part of either Creevecore or Chesterfield. So Parkway Central is kind of like in that, you know, middle area that is part of Chesterfield, Creevecore, a little bit of town and country and parts of Westwood too. So there's a couple different areas you could end up living in if you're in Parkway Central. Now this is gonna be a little bit more expensive as far as home prices and that kind of stuff compared to the other ones on the list I've talked about so far. So Town and Country and Westwood will be the most expensive options on the list if you're in Parkway Central. Chesterfield and Creve Core, not as expensive as Town and Country and Westwood, but still, you know, definitely higher up compared to Maryland Heights or Bridgeton, like I mentioned earlier on the list. Now, number five on the list, sticking with the Parkway system, is gonna be Parkway West. So again, just like Parkway Central, very highly ranking, very sought after to live in the Parkway West area. And this is really gonna be a really big portion of town and country and parts of Chesterfield that belong to Parkway West. Now there's also gonna be some parts towards the north of Baldwin and Manchester that are also part of Parkway West, but they're usually not as expensive as town and country and Chesterfield. So depending on your budget and the price range, you could also look into Baldwin or Manchester to keep the Parkway West school system without having to pay the prices you'll pay in town and country. Now, next up, number four is Kirkwood. Kirkwood, again, serves different areas. There's different municipalities that are part of the Kirkwood school system, which are gonna be all of Kirkwood, all of Oakland, and then you'll have parts of De Pere as well as Huntley and Frontenac that are part of the Kirkwood school district. Next up is gonna be Lafayette. So number three is Lafayette High School. This is really a really big part of Wildwood and the kind of Western side of Chesterfield. So huge part of Wildwood and a huge part of Chesterfield that are in the Lafayette School District. And again, Lafayette is the last one on the list that is part of the Rockwood School System. So within Rockwood schools, like I said, you got four different high schools and Lafayette is the highest ranking one of those schools. Now up here at number two, this is where the areas start to get significantly more expensive. Number two on this list is Clayton High School. So Clayton High serves all of Clayton and then a couple parts of Richmond Heights. But for the most part, in order to have Clayton schools, you gotta live in Clayton, which means paying the higher prices in Clayton compared to an area around it like Richmond Heights, Brentwood, or University City. So Clayton is one of the highest ranking places as far as school districts. It also can be pretty pricey as far as, you know, the homes and the condos available in Clayton. But if you end up living in Clayton, it is beautiful. It's a very nice mix of urban and and suburban living um, kind of feels like you're like in a city because you have downtown Clayton which has a ton of commercial space offices high-rise buildings and condos that you'll see in downtown Clayton and it kind of looks like you're in like the city of st. Louis but you're not you're in downtown Clayton which really looks like its own you know miniature city in some ways it is beautiful I love it you got Shaw Park right there tons of bars and restaurants Clayton is definitely one of my favorite areas and of course the school system is fantastic at number two on this list. So, you know, it, it really doesn't get better than Clayton, except for number one on this list, which is Ladue Schools. So Ladue is the number one um, school system on this list, and it's gonna serve all of Ladue, and then you will have all of Olivet, which belongs to uh, Ladue Schools, and you'll have some parts of Creevecore, Frontenac, and Huntley that also belong to the Ladue School System, and some parts of Westwood. I don't think I mentioned that. Westwood also has parts that go to Ladue High. Now, Ladue 
typically ranks you know very highly as far as the school system but it also is just like Clayton a very expensive area to live in so within the Ladue school system everything that goes to Ladue High Ladue Frontenac um, and Huntley and Westwood I would say too are going to be the most expensive areas that are in that school system Creve Core and Olivet are still, you know, pricey, but they're not going to be as expensive as what you will see in Ladue as far as how far your money goes. So a lot of people who want to be in the Ladue school system will sometimes live in Olivet or Creve Core just to stretch that budget a little bit further, get a bigger house, get a nicer backyard, that kind of stuff, but still be able to send their kids to Ladue High, which is, you know, a bonus of living in that area if you're still within the boundaries to go to Ladue Horton. Watkins. And that's just the full name of the high school. It's Ladue Horton Watkins, part of the Ladue school system. So there you have it from number 10 with Pattonville all the way up to number one at Ladue schools. Top 10 schools right now in 2022 in the St. Louis area. So I hope this was helpful. And again, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you, your family, your kids, you're moving to St. Louis with school districts in mind, if you want some help with that process of buying a house or buying a condo, especially trust me in this crazy competitive real estate market it is ridiculous sometimes so if you want some help reach out send over an email send a text let's get in touch let's get that conversation started to help you with that move here to st louis so thank you for watching i appreciate it i will see you in the next video right here on the living st louis channel hope you take care and have a great day